Yeah, just I think his temperament and, you know, his style of coaching. Uh, I mean, when he first got here, there was no waste of time. He got right to the point. Um, he said either you're in or you're out. Um, he kind of laid out, you know, his plan for the Nebraska program. And I was all about that. I, I was about, you know, how disciplined he wanted us to be. I was about all about how his structure was. And so really it was like in the first two weeks after listening to him and, you know, his expectations of us and what his plans were, I was all about that. And I wanted in because I knew it would take us pretty far. Yeah, they're always keeping me on my toes. You know, they're always asking me questions, uh, football related or not. Um, you know, because it, it's hard sometimes because I almost view them as like my same age or something like that because they're all really mature for how young they are um, and how serious they take, um, I guess, like the program itself. You know, they're not, you know, sitting around going, I'm just going to wait for my time. No, they're, they're making sure it happens. And so, you know, watching those guys in the spring, and I think Sue is finally coming out of his shell to be able the dominant, you know, three tech that he can be. I mean, Sue is probably our fastest pass rusher along with Judy. Uh, Van Pop reminds me a lot of myself, to be honest, just a, just this big athletic kid who can, you know, play the edge, who can also play on the inside. And then Judy, Judy's been awesome as well. I mean, that dude's quicker than quick. Uh, watching him, you know, also try to find himself coming from A&M and, and finding his way into our room. How do the younger guys kind of rally around the senior? Because obviously their sense of urgency is a little bit different. Coach talked about how the time the bowl game rolls around and have 30 graduates. So for the young guys, how have they kind of really stepped up to, you know, level higher in the standard of the Well, what's awesome about our young guys is that, you know, none of them feel too entitled to listen to us. Uh, I feel like being an older guy, seeing what I've seen, you know, kind of wanting to help them with their journey uh, that, that I had when I was a freshman. Uh, a lot of those guys are really hard workers. I mean, they're sticking their nose in the ground and they're just doing the work that needs to be done. Uh, along with our OTAs, I mean, watching, especially on the defensive side of the ball, watching the young guys step up to, you know, those kind of positions and those roles we're going to need them for in the season. I mean, we can't just rely on 11 guys. We're going to need everybody. And I think they've done a great job at, at accepting that challenge and, and rising to it. What are some like places you could tell them about? Like, just fanfare tailgates. Yeah, I mean Lincoln. Lincoln's the most friendly city I think there could be. I mean, you could probably join anybody's tailgate if you wanted to. Bring a freaking <laughs> case of beer or something, and and have a good time grilling with them. Uh, o Street's always fun. That's where all the bars are at. I know a lot of college get, college kids go down there. Uh, there's plenty of places to eat down uh, down there. So yeah, I mean Lincoln's pretty friendly. I should talk about uh, was the hay. The hay market. Haymarket. Yep, a lot of people like to go down to the old Haymarket. Yeah, I think it used to be old like train station type of deal, and there's a bunch of places to eat, a bunch of places to drink. It's a good, it's a good time. There's uh, like guys like Will Compton, even Sue maybe. Like have some of those those OGs, you know, come in and address the team at any point. Uh, Will's come in uh, once or twice. Um, Sue was here uh, one time, but I think he just was meeting with Coach Rule. I think just. Coach Rowe wanted to pick his brain on, you know, when they when he played here in 09. So, but uh, not not nothing towards like the whole team. I have not. No, I've been usually just crashing it on the couch, uh, watching a movie or so. Fair enough. Uh, what have you thought about your player rating, though? Uh, it's whatever. I mean, I know what I can do. I mean, the new season. I mean, it is what it is. It's just it's just a number, right? Yeah, no, I was I was one of the first guys to, you know, make, I guess stake my claim and coming back. And a bunch of other guys were just iffy, and I was just kind of in their ear a little bit, just telling them like, just think about one more year, you know, you know, you'll never get this again in your life. You're gonna have to go work a nine to five somewhere, or own your own company somewhere. Like you'll never be, get to be around a group of guys like this and and play the sport that you love. Uh, and you know. I like to say that I had a hand in it. Who knows? But I'm just happy that the guys that came back came back. Uh, I talked to Giff and I talked to Bullock a bunch. John Bullock. Uh, I was talking to Nick, I think, a little bit. Uh, I knew Luke was done. 
Uh, I think Giff and, and Bullock were, were my top two guys. Uh, kind of a little bit, yeah. No, nothing crazy. It was just more like, hey, bro, like we can, we, if you come back, you know, it's going to be us against the world, really. And I think, you know, with how Coach Rule's been running things, things can go pretty well. Was that ever in doubt for you? I mean, I know you made the decision early, but like, did you ever think it could go the other way? Were you going to move on? Yeah, I mean, you know, in the beginning of the season, I didn't really know. I didn't know if how ready I was just because I came off that surgery. Um, then I kind of got into fall camp, and the first few games were kind of iffy. And then, you know, I started finding my groove a little bit. And then, you know, I finally found it, I think, in the last three or four games, but I just didn't think it was enough. And, you know, I sat down with Coach Rule, and we talked. And, you know, I, I trust him enough to give me an honest answer. And we talked about, you know, what my projection would have been if I were to leave. And, you know, it's just not something I was, you know, really too happy with. And I thought, you know, I could do – there's a lot more I could do. And, you know, why not take advantage of the time that I have if I have an extra year? Uh, he, I mean, he had seen me, you know, as like a late round draft pick kind of guy, maybe free agent, um, just because, you know, just based off the film, I, like I said, I really only had about four good games, I thought, to myself. So, you know, start at, start out with UTEP and just be a tone setter for the season. Mm -hmm. That's something that T Knight came up with. It's it's the D line's identity. Um, you know, everyone wants to be a part of it, but nobody wants to do what it takes to get into it, type of deal. Uh, but, you know, once you're in it, it you're, it's family, it's everything. Uh, I'm really appreciative to be a part of it. What is your expectation just in terms of what it'll feel like with those new additions to the conference? And you got UCLA and USC both on your schedule. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I mean, they're, they're two, you know, respectable programs and a chance to, you know, it's fresh new faces, so it's a chance to play new ball against them. Uh, you get to go out and visit the West Coast. I mentioned earlier that I got family that live in Arizona, so they can come out and see me. Um, they don't have to take a two-hour flight or take, a take that much time off work or something. But, I mean, and especially adding Oregon and Washington, I mean, I mean, those are also two respectable programs as well, and I think they fit the mold of the Big Ten pretty well. What might they need to understand those new schools about, about what makes Big Ten football Big Ten football? Big Ten football is, is, is run. I mean, it's a run-dominant league. It's big up front. It's physical. It's gritty. you got snowy weather. you got rainy weather. you got cold weather. you got hot weather, buggy weather. you got all, you know, all these challenges, all these outside, you know, ordeals to deal with. But you know, I think they'll. I think they'll be good for the challenge. Yeah, just you know, build off of what we've been building off of uh, from last season. You know, one of our biggest things was getting down on third, getting off on third down, uh, and pass rushing. You know, I, we had a goal I think last year of about 40 sacks, and I think we got I don't know, around like 35 or something. So we didn't even reach our goal. So. Now we have to up the goal even more and, and try to reach that.